Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got a cool little math result that I want to share with you. So it turns out that any function f of x can be expressed as the sum of an even function and an odd function. And I want to justify that to you. So here's the justification. And so the idea is to take f of x and write it in the following way. So we could write this as 1 half of f of x plus 1 half of f of x plus 1 half of f of minus x minus 1 half f of minus x. And that's certainly true, right? This is 0, but it's going to be a clever form of 0. And the sum, of course, is f of x. So nothing uh, illegal has happened so far. And so what we want to do is we want to give um, certain parts a name. So these two terms right here, we're going to call that g of x. So g of x is exactly 1 half of f of x plus 1 half of f of minus x and h of x is equal to 1 half of f of x minus 1 half of f of minus x, right? So for g of x, I've collected, it looks like this term in this term. And for h of x, I've collected this term and this term. And so right now, we have that f of x is equal to g of x plus h of x. And so let's do the odd even function test for each of these. So let's note g of minus x. So we're going to compute g of minus x. That should be 1 half f of minus x plus 1 half f of minus minus x. So that's f of x. But that's the same thing as 1 half f of x plus 1 half f of minus x. And that's exactly g of x. So g of x is an even function by definition. And so now we investigate h of x. So, or h of minus x, rather. h of minus x is exactly, so let's take a look here. 1 half f of minus x minus 1 half f. Well, if I plug in minus x here, minus minus x will give me x. Okay, plug that in there. And then I'm going to factor out a minus. That gives me... Well, if I factor out a minus and switch the order, that's going to give me 1 half f of x minus 1 half f of minus x. But that's exactly minus h of x. So h of x is an odd function by definition. And so... And thus, f of x is the sum of an even function and an odd function. Isn't that cool?